So I am very late on the trend, but I am going to try 10K steps a day for 30 days and see what's going to happen. This is the beginning, you can say, of my weight loss journey. And from my heaviest, I've lost around five to six kilograms, which is like 10 to 12 pounds. And I really wanted to try to take the walking thing seriously and see what happens if I really do 10,000 steps a day every day for 30 days and see what is going to happen for my body. So my starting point for this challenge is around 74, 73.8 kilograms. And I really want to see how the walking thing is going to affect my weight and how my body looks. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, this was day one. Obviously you cannot miss day one, but day one was pretty easy, even though it was crazy hot in here. Obviously I wasn't filming every single day I walked because this video would, would have been too long and a little bit boring, but I did film some days I felt like it. And some days I wasn't able to do 10,000 steps a day. So I did some kind of a walking workout at home. And honestly it was okay and it went okay. So I failed. Um, I got a little procedure in my eyes, so I couldn't really walk a lot. I couldn't get wind in my eyes. So I'm starting over. Today is May 11th, and today we are starting the 30 days all over again. So this is day one. And again, obviously you cannot miss day one. So this day was a successful one. So I failed again. You need to understand that walking 10,000 steps a day takes about an hour and a half every single day. And it's a long time. It's a very long time, especially when you don't have a clear schedule of your day, of your week, or of your months. And I just don't have it. I study architecture on, on my second year. And a lot of the nights I'm staying at the studio until like, 12 at night or 1 a.m. and I'm not going to come back home at like 1 a.m. and start to walk an hour and a half until 2.30 or 3 a.m. and get and then go to sleep. There is a very important goal in here and it, it is to lose weight but not in any case. Especially when I'm actually walking quite a lot. I'm taking the bus to the university and I have to walk from the bus station to the university and I'm going back home with, uh, with the bus. So I am walking quite a lot in my day, but not to reach 10,000 steps a day. And maybe it's okay. And this is the message I want you to take from this video. I know this video was quite short, but there is a message I want you to get from this video. And that is that sometimes you just can't win at all. You cannot study an, a degree in architecture. And if you know someone who studied a degree in architecture, you know, or he will tell you or she will tell you that it is such a hard degree and it takes so many hours to do everything. That's one. Two, when you are focused on social media and trying to grow, it's too much. You cannot focus on studying and on social media and on trying to lose weight and doing a challenge to walk 10,000 steps a day. It's just too much. And sometimes you cannot have it all and you need to focus on one specific thing or two specific things in order to be successful at those things. And I think that this is the main reason I failed in this 10,000 steps a day challenge because there is just too much going on in my life right now. And because I'm just really, really focused on social media right now and in school and in planning a wedding and it's just too much. And sometimes it's okay to understand that now it's not the time. Or maybe you need to make time. Maybe I should take a break for social media or maybe I should be uploading less videos in order to have this time for walking 10,000 steps a day. It's a possibility, but as for right now, it just didn't happen and it's okay. It can be a bit frustrating at first, but I think I got to this realization that you just need to make time for the things you really want to have or to do. And when you don't do it, it just don't work. And you really need to want the things in order to make time for it. You know what I mean? Now I'm starting my second semester of my second year of 
architecture school and there is no way I will be able to have an hour and a half every day to walk but I am going to walk as much as possible in my daily life and not just taking a walk. I am seeing a change in my body because I am eating a lot cleaner because I do have a goal to lose weight um, but maybe walking an hour half every day is not the way for me right now and maybe i should focus more on nutrition and just walking as much as possible during the day taking the steps and not the elevator and all these kinds of stuff and having like short workouts four times or three times a week and maybe this is the right way for me right now so you understand that I am in a journey to lose weight. So if you want to see the rest of the journey, subscribe to my channel. There are more videos to come about weight loss, about wedding planning, about everything in life. If you want to be a part of it, then subscribe and I will see you in the next time.